Today we played Mario Party Superstars, but I made every space an item space. This game is so much closer than I would have expected, and I hope you enjoy this video. I hope you like items, because we're going to see lots of them. Just remember that Mushroom Head isn't actually an item. That's right! My head is not an item! You can't use it! You can't use my head as an item! That's crazy talk! Wait! Do you want to use my head as a mushroom item? Dot dot dot! Turn order! If you land on an event space, the star will switch to the left island! But there are no event spaces here, so there isn't much reason to stay on the left island! And Toad's got a fantastic point here, and I'm really, really curious to see, will the CPUs stay on the left island, or will they go over to the right island? Because very often when the star is over on the right island, when no one lands on an event space, sometimes the CPUs go to the right. There is still a bit of a point to staying on the left, because there might be a bonus star for who purchases the most items from the shop, but I don't know how big of a deal that's going to be. Okay, we get just a three, so sad, just a small number. Oh, and I also changed the starting space. Instead of a green space that does nothing, I changed that to an item space space and I was wondering if anything would happen if we landed on that but it looks like the game just treated that as the regular starting space okay you know what let's go like this oh no I eh, maybe that'll be okay if everyone gets bigger rolls than me then it would be good but yeah I would have loved the custom dice block I was thinking of going for the mushroom at the start but if I got the mushroom at the start then uh if I went for that maybe I would have just fallen in the water instead of getting the first item that's actually happened to me before wow Yoshi actually didn't get an item poor Yoshi and I colored the characters I made this Yoshi red over here and we're playing with a spike and with Mr. L over here so it's like red team versus green team who would you guys be cheering for Mario and Red Yoshi or Spike and Mr. L all right and all the mini games are all going to be random like this oh but it's so cool that we actually are with Yoshi it's actually red team versus green team right now let's go this is exactly what I was talking about here we go team red on the left versus team green on the right let's go let's go let's go whoops sorry for punching you Yoshi okay let's go let's go let's go oh, I punched you again I'm so sorry I'm so sorry even though we punched each other well not we punched each other I punched Yoshi a bit they're still not done with that rock okay and to be fair Yoshi is the hardest difficulty the green team is lower difficulty so that's probably partially why we are doing so much better we're already moving away before they even got out of the car over there okay let's see let's see how we can do over here Yoshi go to the one on the right go to the one on the right no 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 we don't need a team up we don't need a team up bro why'd you punch me for let's go there we go there we go okay all right it's almost like they're catching up a little bit looks like they might be catching up a little bit oh wait but on their last section I don't think they had to break three boulders okay let's go like this then Oh, I wonder, do you deal more damage if you both attack the same one together, or is it better if you split up? Because for some reason, whatever one I start hitting, Yoshi keeps coming over to me. Okay, now we are even more ahead. We are going, I think this is the final boulder, right? Are we going to the final boulder over here? I wonder if jump kicking does more damage per second, because it seems like the CPUs, especially the better CPUs, they do jump kicks. But yeah, we are pretty far ahead of those guys. It's very nice to be with the hardest CPU and facing off against the easy CPU and the normal CPU. So here we go, Team Red is in the lead. Oh, and this is something that's super cool. You don't get any coins on the actual board since it's all item suit. Well, I guess you get 10 coins when you pass by the Koopa Troopa. And Bowser can take away some coins, and you could get some coins from, and you could get some coins from the Boo. Okay, and Mr. L chooses to roll a ten, and he's heading up. What is he buying from the item shop? Spends five coins. What does that give him? A double dice block. Okay, but little does he know, little does he know that the star is not going to go there. Oh, and he doesn't get an item from the item space. That's so sad for him. Okay, I'm actually. Should I use the warp block? I don't want to swap with Luigi. Swapping with Luigi would be so sad. Okay, please, anyone except for Mr. L. Anyone except for Mr. L. Why? Why? Why do you do this to me? Oh no, oh no. Not only are we on the left island, but we don't pass by the item shop, and we're going to be passing by Bowser, and it's this mini game, so we might not even get a good item. Okay, let's see. I'd love the mushroom or the double dice block would be perfect. Good, 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 good. Thank you, okay. It's not the cursed dice block, and it's not the warp block, and it's not Bowser Jr., so I'm happy. You know, I think this is a really good board to showcase all of the item mini games. Like, you can definitely see all the item mini games on this board. All right, Yoshi, please go ahead. Where are you going, Yoshi, my friend? 
Ah, oh, man, Yoshi's going across. Yeah, so you know what? Part of the reason that I thought that I should use my warp block right away is because there might be a bonus star for most items used. Oh, yeah, that's right, and you have to pay coins when you pass by the thwomp. I forgot about that. But yeah, there might be a bonus star for most items used. And I want to make sure that I'm using an item every single turn so that I can stay ahead of the others. Wow, and Spike's also heading up this way. Okay, so I am in one of the worst positions right now, actually. Oh my goodness. Okay, and Spike gets a double dice block. All right, how are the minigames going to be split up this time? Four player minigame. Okay, because when you land on a green space, it's random whether you are blue or red. So the teams will end up being pretty random. Okay, let's get out Yoshi first. We need Yoshi out. We need Yoshi out. Yoshi, I'm sorry, bro. Sorry, bro. Yoshi, bro. Bro, bro, bro. Good. Good. It doesn't even matter if we lose. I just don't want Yoshi to get any coins because he's about to reach the start. Even though it's Team Red and we should be working together, I have to win myself. That's how we have to do this. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Where are you at? Bro, Spike, let's go. Goodbye, Mr. Spike. And Mario is the winner here. Bumper Balloons is such a great minigame. And you know what? The physics in this game are so different compared to how it was in Mario Party 2. So that's amazing. So Yoshi was in fourth in that minigame, so he doesn't get any coins at all. So Team Red still is in first and second. Should I be working together with Team Red, or is it everyone wins on their own? Okay, Mr. L rolls and I... Is he going up again? Ah, uh, he's finally going across! He's going across. I should make the fee very, very high to come across. Oh, but wait. Maybe I should head up and then try to buy a gold pipe? I guess it depends on what I roll with the double dice. Let's see, 27 away from the start. Just give me double tens right now. That would be perfect. Let's see. Two and six. Great, we got an eight. Not very high. And we're passing by Bowser over here. What does he give us? 19 coins! He takes away 19 coins from us. Okay, what do we get for the 19 coins? At least we get an item, I guess. But the item might not even be that useful because we land on an item space every single turn. And if we can get a good item every turn, then we might not even use that. A gold pipe! A gold pipe! Oh my goodness, I didn't know that you could get a gold pipe this early in the game. Okay, let's see. Let's go now. Ah, I'm a double dice block. Ah, man, it's too bad that we couldn't get that gold pipe. I'm actually very surprised that we saw the gold pipe that early. Too bad we couldn't get it. At least we have a double dice block that we could use next turn. All right, what about you, Yoshi? Where are you going? Two away from the star rolls at eight, and you can't afford it. That is so sad for you, so sad. Wait, and Wario's actually in second place. Okay, so he's stealing. Oh wait, and Wario's actually spiked. All of his coins are stolen, my goodness. Spike has absolutely nothing. That is unbelievable. Okay, and what does Yoshi get? Yoshi gets a mushroom over here again. Okay, what about you, Spike? What are you going to do? Uh, I'm going to roll the dice and uh, get an eight. All right, what are you getting from the item shop? Oh, you don't have any coins, so you can't get anything. Okay, and you already have two items. You didn't get a third item, though. Okay, we've got a four-player minigame. It looks like it's split up this way. Parasol Plummet would be nice. Ah, uh, trapeze artist. Ah, uh, this is a luck-based one. Mostly luck-based. Where you want there to be a lot of Goombas below your shadow. And then you can catch them. Okay, let's see. Let's see where the Goombas at. Come here, Goombas. That's okay. That's an okay amount of Goombas. Red Yoshi's got a gold one, so the gold one's worth three. Mr. L has a crazy amount. My goodness. Mr. L might be winning, and he has a gold one in there, too, so I don't know. Yeah, Spike isn't doing well at all. But hold on, is Mr. L winning? Oh, is it a tie? Oh! Oh! No! He had one more! Mr. L, how did you do so well? I like that that rhymes, though. That actually brings up Mr. L into second place. He has one coin ahead of us right now. Man, you know what? I don't think it's worth going for the most items purchased bonus star for me. Hopefully Luigi passes by the star. Yes, bro! There we go. Okay. Okay, he can't afford the star and he passes by it. So sad for him. And Yoshi's in first place. So Mr. L is probably going to steal coins from Yoshi when he passes by. Hopefully he doesn't use that warp block though and swap spots with me as I'm about to reach the star. That would be very sad if that happened. Okay. Let's use our double dice block, of course. 19 from the start. Don't give me double tens. Don't give me a 10. Okay, thank goodness. I saw the one. I'm like, wait, is that a 10? But it wasn't. Okay, that's good. Oh, wait, but I would have gotten 10 coins from the Koopa Troop, and I would have been able to afford the star anyways. So getting a 10 actually would have been okay. 
All right, let's pay some coins over here, paying three coins to go across over here. We have enough coins to afford this star. The question is just, will we be able to reach the star? You know what? I really like this board. I thought that adding item spaces to every single spot, I don't know, I thought that maybe this wouldn't be as interesting of a board, but this might be my favorite board like this that I've made. I've made a bunch of boards like this, I've done like all Bowser spaces, all chance time spaces. Over the last few weeks, I've been working on a bunch of boards like this, and I'm enjoying this one a lot more than I thought that I would. Okay, and we got a custom dice block, which is very, very nice. Okay, please go ahead, Yoshi. You've got two mushrooms, so you choose to use your mushroom now. And where are you heading? All right, you're heading back down here, which makes sense. Yoshi's now the closest one to the star, my goodness. So for the rest of the game, we are probably going to try to stay on the right half of the island. And, and then Fishy Boopkins is over here. Not really much of a point. Oh, okay, and he uses a cursed dice block on Yoshi. Not really much of a point to staying on the left half of the island. Oh, Fishy Bopkins over here gets a 10. So he's passing by Bowser. Oh wait, but he has no coins, so it doesn't matter. Okay, do you get another item? He gets a custom dice block. So you've got a double dice block and a custom dice block. Getting quite a few items. All right, I just really hope Mr. L doesn't use his warp block. And if he does, I don't want to swap spots with him because I really want to reach the star. It'd be so nice if we could reach the star. X-ray payday. Okay, hopefully we can get a perfect score in this one. Okay, so the money bag is up first, so we want that. Okay, so let's go money, take, take, then bomb. Okay, take, take, okay, then nothing for a while. Okay, and it's going to be coin, coin, then don't take. Okay, then coin, then don't take the next two. And then it's money bag, coin, okay, then a bunch of punches, then an empty one, okay, then after the empty one, this one is empty, then it's coin, 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 empty, and then the last one's a bomb. Were there really only 20 coins? I would have expected that there would have been more. Maybe we missed something. I'm not sure if we got all the coins. Too bad that wasn't a bonus minigame. If it was a bonus minigame, then we would have gotten double that amount of coins. All right, but here we go. Please don't use your warp block, bro, please. Wow, he didn't use it. That would have been a very clever thing to do. When you're right past the star, that is probably one of the perfect times to use the warp block because you can... Oh my goodness, and he threw away his warp block. Yeah, because if you do that, you can stop other people from reaching the star possibly. All right, we are nine away from the star and we've got a custom dice block. That means... If we roll at least a 9, we can roll 9 or 10. Let's roll a 10 just so we are closer to the boo and closer to reaching the next star. So here we go. We purchased the first star of the game on turn 5. I'm surprised there weren't any stars earlier in the game. I guess there were two people that passed by this star that were just barely not able to afford this star. So we could have had two more stars in the game if they had some more coins. Oh boy, now it is time for the wheel. Alright, let's go. What do I want? That one. No, not that one! That's not what I wanted! Oh no, that's so sad. Mario's looking over at Bowser Jr. like, Mamma Mia, what are you doing here? I wanted an item. All right, and Yoshi uses a mushroom, so that cancels the effect of the cursed dice block, and he gets an extra seven, so that's 12. So Yoshi is reaching the star, and not only is he reaching the star, but he's actually going to be in first place now because he has more coins than me. So hopefully Luigi passes by the boo next turn and steals coins from Yoshi. That would be nice. Oh, 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 he's very close to the boo. He gets a warp block. All right, Wario, are you, why are you not using your items? Why are you just rolling normally? I am so confused about you, Wario. Okay, Wario does get 10 coins over here though. Go ahead, Spike. I wonder if he's going to stay on the left island. This fishy bumpkin's over here. This Spike, he's being so silly. Okay, he has a triple dice block, a double dice block, and a custom dice block, but he's the only one that's on the left island. It's like he's hoping that the star will come over to that island. All right, it is time for the two brothers in Paint Misbehaving. It's not red versus green in this minigame. In this minigame, it is the brothers versus the non-humans. That's what it is. Who will win, the humans or the non-humans in this one? Whoa, I was hit. Okay, we want to paint as many Goombas blue as possible. Oh, and hold on, isn't there a new Splatoon game coming out? I think I heard about that. I've never played any of the Splatoon games before. But, yeah, whenever I see this mini game, I think of Splatoon, because I imagine that Splatoon is like this, where it's like you want to cover area with paint. That's my understanding of Splatoon. Whoa, 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 whoa,
we lost by one! No! Oh man, we're doing pretty good at this start, but these guys, they really came back. And now what's going to happen to the two brothers? They are startled and paintballs are now being shot at us. But we could do very well at avoiding them. Too bad their aim wasn't that bad during the game. And that was a bonus minigame, so that's an extra 20 coins. Oh no, I didn't realize how serious that was. But wait, Team Red is still in first place. I like that Team Red is still in first place. Both of us are in first and second, and both of the green characters are in third and fourth. Okay, so it's the last five turns, so let's see. Let's take a listen to the wisdom of the ways as delivered by Chief Chief. Who are they going to choose to give a gift to? Maybe they'll give a gold pipe to someone. Luigi, okay, come on out, Luigi, in fourth place over here. 20 coins! Okay, that's quite generous. He's about to pass by a boo, and he can almost afford to steal a star, which is scary to think. But please go ahead, Luigi, what are you gonna do? Are you using an item? Yes. Custom dice block, what are you going to roll? Something smart, I'm sure. An eight, okay. And who are you stealing coins from? Probably Yoshi, right? Yes, because Yoshi is in first place, so you gotta steal coins from him. And you know what? This game is much more even than I expected it to be. Like, sure, there are two characters that have one star and two characters that have zero stars, but Luigi can very easily buy a star. Wario can very easily buy a star. There's a lot happening here. Okay, you know what? Yoshi right now is probably my biggest threat, so I am going to use the cursed ice block on him. And in some ways, he is a bit defenseless. He doesn't have anything that can cancel the effect of the cursed dice. Oh great, and I roll a one. Why does this happen? You use the cursed dice block and then you roll a small number. Okay, let's go and give me something nice. All right, a double dice block, that's nice. At least if someone uses the cursed dice block on me, I'll be able to cancel the effect of that, so that's pretty nice. All right, Yoshi, what are you using? Of course, Yoshi is using the warp block. Swapping with me would be nice, actually. Ah, Mr. L, oh no, so Yoshi is closer to the star. Wait, does that mean that Luigi gets to pass by the boo again? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Because I don't remember if Yoshi passed by the boo yet or not. Okay, and Yoshi also gets a mushroom. All right, Fishy Bumpkins, let's see. Are you going to finally be smart? Okay, a custom dice block. What are you going to roll? A nine? Okay, are you going up or to the right? Let's see. Oh, you're finally joining the party! Spike's finally joining the party over on the right island. Welcome to the right, Mr. Spike. Please enjoy your stars. So close to this star. Wario, AKA Spike. Oh, a dueling glove. Uh-oh, I would love for him to duel me for as many coins as possible. That would be great. But yeah, Spike's really close to this star right now. Okay, and we are having a four-player minigame and it is Rock and Raceway, oh boy. Let's go. Oh, we are actually not on the top track. That's actually kind of surprising. Spike looks so funny on the little rocking cords. Very often when I play this, I end up being on the top track. Whoa! Oh, I was looking at the wrong bar. I'm like, whoops. No wonder we spun out. Okay, so you want to go fast, but you don't want to go too fast. That's funny that I spun out that quickly, and it already looks like I'm kind of ahead, actually. Wait, wait, wait. Yes! Okay, okay, I wasn't sure if we'd be able to get it or not, but we did get it. Yoshi's actually very close, though. Yoshi's a lot closer than we might have thought. Okay, so it's pretty important that we get the carrot. Now go! Yeah! There we go! We got it! And Yoshi got the poisonous one! Let's go! Let's go, and we should be able to finish. Not an amazing time, but good enough to beat them. Oh my goodness, Spike and Luigi are both playing pretty poorly. There comes Yoshi in second place. Quite the landslide victory over here. And I think that Luigi is going to beat Spike. I think Spike is the easier difficulty and Luigi is harder, and then Yoshi's the hardest difficulty. All right, only four turns are left. Oh yeah, so Luigi's passing by the boo. Probably stealing from me. Almost guaranteed stealing from me. Oh, what? Oh wait, 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 wait. Okay, Yoshi was in first. Oh my goodness, I didn't realize Yoshi was in first. But Mr. L, the evil Luigi actually pays to steal a star. It is not very often that you see CPUs paying to steal a star. But over here, we've got Luigi stealing a star from another CPU. My goodness. I'm glad that I wasn't in first place over there. Oh, man. Okay, but right now, I think would be a nice time to use the double dice block force. It's the only item we have, so of course we're using it to give me a humongous roll. Come on. 
No! I don't even care that it's same roll bonus and we get an extra 10 coins. Wait, wait, actually, actually with those 10 extra coins. Oh, oh, I thought that we'd be able to steal a star because I thought we would go from 41 to 51, but it brought us from 31 to 41. All right, I'm stealing coins from Yoshi. We got to do from Yoshi over here. He does have the most coins. We don't want him stealing a star from me. That would be very sad. Man, we used the double dice block and we rolled a four. Just think about that for a moment. Rolling two dice that go up to 10 total. And we got, oh, oh, yes, 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 yes. Ah, oh, but he only has seven coins, okay. But yeah, what I was going to say is that with this single roll that goes up to 10, you can roll higher than that on average. So we got pretty unlucky with the double dice there. All right, okay, and it's this minigame, that's great. Wow, and Mario's actually on the bottom here. That's kind of surprising, okay. Let's be, you know what, let's not be careful. I was gonna say let's be careful. Instead, let's be risky over here. Let's go for this one, okay. Let's go for as much as we can. Go there, okay. Let's go, even though that's risky, nice. And go over here, very nice. Now just keep going, keep going. Don't stop, bro, don't stop, you just gotta keep going. Yeah, oh no, for the last one I actually have to wait, there's no way I, maybe I actually could have made that one if I went for it right away. But go, okay, and made it on, and there we go. Wait, Luigi's pretty far back, was he like one quarter of the way through the race? My goodness. We have a winner! The 14 coins go to Mario! Too bad it wasn't more coins. But hey, now we can afford to steal a star. Oh, what if we stole Mr. L's star? That'd be so evil. Okay, and we get to get an item. Okay, perfect, perfect. Okay, let's get the custom dice block or double dice block. Let's go for double dice block. It's a bit risky. We might get another low roll again, but hopefully we don't. Okay, so double dice is in the bottom right, bottom left right now. Double dice block's right here. Very nice, okay, perfect. And look at this shadow of the double dice just standing there, menacingly. All right, Yoshi, what are you up to right now? Using an item, cursed dice block on Spike. But he does have a double dice block and a triple dice block, so if he uses one of those items, it actually just cancels the effect of the cursed dice block, so that doesn't really matter for him. Okay, and Yoshi can afford this star. He's getting very, very close to this star. Doesn't get an item from the item space, but he still does have a mushroom. Okay, Spikes, why wouldn't you use one of your items, Spike? Anything, even the dueling glove, if you wanted to, but my goodness. It's three away from the star, rolls the one because of the cursed dice block. Gets a double dice block and throws away his previous double dice block. Spike, what are you doing, man? Okay, and we've got a four player minigame and the minigame is catch you letter. Okay, so let's get some letters, bring it back to the shy guy postman. And the love letters are worth three points when we can get those. Wait, where am I? Okay, at first I'm like, wait, where's my character? Come here, come here. Oh, Luigi's struggling a bit with picking up a letter. Wait a minute, is Spike sandbagging us? Is he pretending to be bad? Because he was actually the first person to deliver a letter to the postman. Oh my goodness, all the characters are, uh, it, it's, it's hard to keep track of who you are and who you want to drop off the letters to because we have so many red characters. It's almost like we're playing Where's Waldo over here. Okay, let's go like this. Because it's like you can focus on the letters for a moment. And then when you look back, you're like, okay, where's the shy guy? And you're like, wait a minute, where even is the shy guy? Because the shy guy has extremely similar colors to both Mario and Red Yoshi. That makes this minigame surprisingly difficult, actually. Okay, Mr. L is 21 away from the star. For some reason, doesn't use any of his double dice blocks. And... He gets a custom dice block. So he has three double dice blocks. He gets a custom dice block. He throws away one of his double dice blocks, of course. Okay, we were on the same spot as Mr. L, so we are also 21 away. So we're, of course, using our double dice block, even though it's impossible for us to reach the star. Hopefully we get some nice big rolls. One and seven. Not really great at all, but at least it is better than the double two that we got earlier. All right, now what are we gonna get here? You know what, I'm just gonna mash A, and hopefully we get the mushroom. Okay, good, good, we got the mushroom, very nice. Okay, so at least that gives us a plus five, so that's fine. So next turn, even if we roll just a one, we're guaranteed to move at least six if we use the mushroom. Okay, wait, how far away is Yoshi? Seven to the start, he needs at least a two, he gets a four, okay. So Yoshi is of course going to buy a star, and Yoshi is back up to one star because Mr. L, actually stole Yoshi's star. That was unbelievable. All right, go ahead, Yoshi. Yoshi lands on an item space. 
and he doesn't get an item! Okay, Spike, are you finally going to get a star two away? Triple dice ball, guaranteed to reach it. Okay, and probably passing by the boo also. Seven, two, and six. Okay, so most, yeah, guaranteed passing by the boo. And everyone has a single star now. This game is incredibly close. It's turn eight of the game, and I actually can't believe how close this is. All right, who are you gonna steal coins from? Probably me, right? Because I'm in first place, yeah. So of course, stealing coins from me. Hopefully, you're not going to take too many coins from me. Okay, how many coins is that? Let's see. 12. Not that big of a deal, but hey, Wario does still have enough coins to buy another star now. And you know what? Look at the way that he's going. He might be able to reach another star. Okay, and a cursed ice block, which is a little scary. I wouldn't want that used on me. Hopefully next turn when I land on the item space, I could get like a triple dice block or a custom dice block or something very nice. Honeycomb Havoc. All right, let's go. Yoshi's up first. That is a lot of red fruit all together over there. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. So you know what? If I get... Uh, I'll get a two. I'll go for a two. Let's see. Let's see. Hopefully you guys will be nice to me. Uh, uh, okay, a two. Please get a two, Luigi. I need you to get a two. Please, please. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I was so worried. Oh, man. Okay, sorry, Yoshi. Because if they both got ones, then they would have gotten me out. Oh, man. Okay, so let's see. How many fruits are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is that right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So you know what? I'll go for a one over here. Hopefully this goes okay. Hopefully this goes okay. Okay, so... Let's see, how many are there now? Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. I could get out either way. I'll roll a one. Let's see. Wait! Did I get a one or a two? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I looked down for a second. Oh no, don't get a two. Yes, thank you, bro! Oh my goodness, everyone is being so nice! Oh my goodness, okay, I'll get a one now. Okay, somehow I managed to survive for this long, basically on luck. Okay, so now let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, he gets a two, that means there's nine. Uh-oh! Uh-oh, so Luigi has actually a guaranteed win if he plays this perfectly. Let's see, though. How many fruits are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait a minute! But uh, there are now seven, so that means if I get him down to six, that means we win. Okay, so he actually made a mistake. He could have had a guaranteed win if he didn't do that, I'm pretty sure. Now, let's see. He goes for a one. So that means that we want to get him down to three. That's exactly what we want to do. We want to get him down to three, and now no matter what he gets, we win. Oh my goodness, this game was so incredibly close. There were so many things that I did that could have gotten me out, but we somehow survived to the very end. And now, Mr. L is chased away by bees. So that's nice that we get those coins. We can afford to buy and steal a star, which is pretty wild. I would like to do both of those things if possible, especially by the end of the game. Okay, now where are you going, Luigi? 17 from the star, custom dice block. What are you rolling, bro? Land on me and duel me and give me your coins. Okay, he really wants a two for some reason. He really wanted to land on that item space right there. Wait a minute. He's all- Oh, a warp block. I was gonna say, he's almost making it impossible to reach the star. But that warp block could be incredibly trolly. Okay, 13 from the star. So if we get an 8, 9, or 10 right now, that would be amazing. I would love an 8, 9, or 10 so much. No! No, bro, no, that's so sad. Okay, just give me something nice over here. Oh, great. Oh, great. Okay, let's see. Give me something nice. Okay! Okay, that's fine. Ah, uh, we can't pass by the boo with this, but we can pass by this star. I don't think we could reach the boo with this. Okay, Yoshi rolls an eight, probably stealing coins from me, right? Let's see. Yeah, of course, stealing coins from me because I am in first place, so it does make sense that they would want to steal coins from me. 
but only nine coins, so that's not that big of a deal. Oh man, this game is going to be so much closer than I expected it to be. I thought, hey, not only are we going to play pretty well, but we can get items every turn and use whatever items we want, but... Man, the game is really not going as expected. Okay, seven and ten. Oh my goodness, Spike's luck is really turning. Wait a minute. That means he's going to be in first place right now after buying this star. Spike is the only person that is going to have two stars right now. Everyone else has a single star. So Spike, the easiest CPU is in first place right now. And he's probably going to be passing by the boo before the end of the game. <laughs> All right, so it is everyone versus me in this minigame. So if we could win this minigame, that'd be very nice because I would love lots of coins. Tube it or lose it. Okay, hopefully I can pop these guys. I should try and go for Yoshi first since Yoshi is the highest difficulty. Okay, let's go, let's go. Let's try and pop these guys. Where are you guys going? Over here? Over there? Come here. Where are you guys going? Where are you guys going? Huh? Huh? Where are you guys going? Going over there? Going over, going over here? Going over there? Where are you guys going? Where are you guys going? Come on, come here. Come here. Come here. Stop running. I think they might be winning. Look. No. No. All of them made it. I didn't get to pop a single one. Oh my goodness. How did they play so well? These guys have played better than all master CPUs. My goodness. Well, I guess this might be the turn where my luck runs out, starting on the previous turn. This is the turn of the game where my luck runs out. It's now the final turn. A bad time for your luck to run out. Okay, at least he doesn't use his warp block and swap spots with me because then I wouldn't be able to reach the star. But I'm actually surprised that he didn't even use his double dice block because if he used his double dice block, he could have maybe at least been able to reach the star. Okay, we're not reaching the boo, right? I think the boo is more than three away from the star, unfortunately. But we are getting a star. We do have a second star. That does bring us back into first place, but we don't know how long we're going to have that first place for because the bonus stars are coming up and we have no idea what's gonna happen there. Okay, at least we get to duel this guy. All right, Spike. I am going to duel you for literally all of your coins. Hopefully we can defeat you. Imagine if it's a TikTok clock minigame and I get eliminated right away. That'd be very sad. Let's see what the duel is going to be. I'm ready, Mr. Spike. Okay, it's the racing one. Okay, I should be able to beat him on... Should be able to beat him here, I think. I don't think this should be super difficult. Whoa! Man, I'm hit. I'm hit. Okay, go here. Very nice. I'll go down here. Get that. Oh, missed that. Okay, let's get this boost. Let's go up there. Nice. Three boosts like that. Get that one. Nice. Get that one. Nice. Get this one. Nice. This one. What's coming up over here? Let's go over. Oh, I missed that one and that one. Oh, boy. And that one. How about this? That one's up there. Get that one. Okay. Oh, boy. Move in time. And there we go. Okay. Not amazing, but good enough to win. Wait, look at Spike. He looks like he has his hands up right now. He's like, I surrender. Spike right now is like, uh, I uh, lost the duel. I don't know how. So all of the coins go to us. Yeah. Poor Spike. No more coins for him. All the coins go to us. It's too bad that there isn't one more turn in the game. If there's one more turn in the game, I'd be able to pass by the boo. And maybe even, uh, oh, oh, and Yoshi wants to duel me. Okay. Okay, Mario's just stretching over here. The dueling glove slaps him. Mario's like, hey, hey, let's go. I'm a ready Yoshi. Duel me for all your coins. Just seven. Oh, oh, so he could still afford the star, I guess. But I don't think Yoshi can even reach the star. What's going on over here? Ah, uh, there is one more turn in the game. Then maybe we. Oh boy. Oh boy. This is gonna be a tricky one, and we are both red. But luckily, we are on the outside. So. Oh man. Man, I was waiting for him to jump, and then I was gonna jump after that. Okay, I guess it wasn't so lucky after all. All right, Yoshi, go ahead and roll. Yoshi rolls a 10. All right, all right, all right. What's going on here? Oh, wait, wait, and uh, Spike is still going to roll. What's Spike going to do? Passing by the boo? Uh, probably stealing coins from me, right? Unless you roll like a one for some reason. Okay, yeah, you want the biggest roll possible. I don't know who is going to be getting- oh wait, and maybe he was only one away from the boo anyways. I don't know who is going to be getting this star for most spaces traveled or least spaces traveled if those are bonus stars. How many coins did he take? 12 coins. Okay, so I am still in first place going into the final minigame. 
But we got to see what is going to be happening with the bonus stars. All right, Bumper Balloon Cars is our final mini game. This is a fantastic one. I am going to be very wary of Yoshi. Let's see. Let's get him. Yeah, there we go. Okay, now it's just Luigi and I. Luigi, my brother, don't turn your back on an opponent. Ah, oh, that was very nice. I got Yoshi when he was vulnerable. All turns invited. Great job, everyone. It's time to announce final results. Now who will win it all? First, let's go over the bonuses. The first bonus is if we get at least one bonus that isn't shared with Spike, then we win. So let's see. Item bonus. I don't know if that's me. I think it might be me. I hope it is. I hope it is. Let's see. Did we use an item every single turn? Mario, yes! Yes! Okay, I think that means that we might win. All right. And wait a minute. The easiest CPU is in rank two right now. Bowser space bonus. Okay. Nobody landed on any Bowser spaces. I made a board that's all Bowser spaces before. So uh, in that board, we would get a lot of bonus stars over there. But over here, nobody gets this bonus star. So wait, who's in last? I don't know if Yoshi or Luigi are in last. Okay, Luigi's in last, then it's Yoshi, the hardest CPU. And over here, we've got an Among Us green with no heads in second place. And Mario wins. Wow, Spike could have gotten the most spaces traveled bonus star. And he actually would have won the game. So there's a good chance of the easiest CPU actually being the top winner of this board. I really recommend my video where I made every single space chance time. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day ahead of you. And take care, everybody.